Welcome back. This is the latest news from the growing crisis on the Korean Peninsula. North Korea tested another ballistic missile on the 29th of April two days ago. This was after warnings by the US and North Korea's ally China to stop such tests. The South Korea and US military exercise that has been going on since the early part of March and finishes this week may have been one reason for the missile launch. It is thought it was launched to collect data for improving their weapons and was deliberately blown up by North Korea at the end of its short flight. This is the ninth missile test this year. It also seems the French are watching closely as a French warship arrived in Japan yesterday, apparently for international military drills. Russia's Vladimir Putin has also now placed his air forces on high alert after tensions rise even further. Russian Chairman of Defence Viktor Ozerov stated that Russia will do everything to prevent accidental missiles from landing in Russian territory. Astonishingly, a government expert from the Reagan era has declared that he believes the current US administration is even considering a preemptive surprise nuclear attack on both Russia and China. Donald Trump actually asked a security expert, not just once but three times, why he couldn't use nuclear weapons. Meanwhile, the Pope has even become involved, urging all sides to seek mediation. As far as the North Korean people are concerned, according to a British source who was in the country very recently, the population don't seem to be alarmed by the prospect of a nuclear war. Whether this is due to the state controlling information from the outside world, or the fact that Kim Jong-un has kept them submissive and obedient through fear is hard to say. With a leader who has actually banned pizzas, burgers and fries, and who has made it illegal for any man to have hair longer than 7 centimetres, except of course Kim himself, then anything is possible. The North Korean dictator has vowed to develop a nuclear missile capable of reaching America and reducing the US to ashes. As the days go on and the tension increases, we will all wait with bated breath to see what happens. Thank you for watching and watch on the next video to see the latest updates.